But today I'd call myself more of a reformed accountant because I work in the field of human behavior. And in particular, my, my focus there is on, a, on an emerging area that's really, emer you know, it's really come along over the last 25 years since I started DNA behavior, which is behavioral economics, looking at the intersection of human behavior and money. Uh, so if you want to think about it in, in the terms of how do people make decisions or financial decisions, uh, you know, is driven by is driven by their behavior. And, you know, some parts of that is rational, some parts of that is emotional. It's, <laughs> it's certainly not all uh, pure straight line rational like accountants like to think it is. Um, so we have to, in it, behind any decision that gets made or any human interaction full stop, understand how people are, are approaching that and what biases are they bringing to the table can they adapt those biases? What are they doing when they're under stress? Which I think is really what happens when major decisions are made. People are under stress and revert to what we call a hardwired behavior. That's why the company's called DNA behavior. We're going back to grassroots of the human. And I think that's what always intrigued me was in wanting to help people optimize their decision making, put a, put a, Tailor made suit on them, rejoice. I wanted to, I, I knew I needed to understand who they were and, and there's, mm. and, and to take the guessing game out of that. And that's why I built the systems we have. 